Our national parks are home to many different animals. More and more species are becoming endangered due to habitat loss, changing climate patterns, development of communities, and other dangers. The national parks provide critical habitats for these endangered species as they find fewer and fewer places to call home. In fact, thanks to national parks, some of these animals have gotten off the endangered list, heading down the road of recovery. Today, I want to introduce you to nine of the critically endangered animals that find refuge in the national parks. First off, this is the black-footed ferret. This animal is considered the rarest mammal in the world, only 1,000 of them living in the wild. They can be found in South Dakota's Badlands and Wind Cave National Parks. The species was thought to be extinct, but was actually rediscovered in Wyoming in 1981. Different conservation efforts have given the ferret a second chance at survival. Next up, my favorite animal on the list, the Kemp's Ridley Sea Turtle. This olive gray reptile is the most endangered sea turtle in the world. The species population reached an all-time low in 1984, but has been growing since then. The success comes from an effort to expand their nesting grounds, reintroducing the turtles to Padre Island National Seashore in Texas. Number three is the Ozark Hellbender. While a little odd looking, the curious species is North America's oldest and largest salamander, growing up to two feet long. This prehistoric amphibian relies on clean water to survive, living in the southeast of Missouri and northeast Arkansas, including the Ozark National Scenic Riverways. Four, the sawfish. This fish is a relative of the shark. Its toothy snout is particularly susceptible to getting caught in fishing nets. The sawfish was once common in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans, but now it survives primarily near Australia and parts of Florida, including Biscayne and Everglades National Park. Next is the Miss Forest Stonefly. This small creature has faced decline as the glaciers at Glacier National Park in Montana have also begun to disappear. These animals live in the streams fed by the melting glaciers, but as the climate warms, the stonefly's ability to survive in its natural habitat of the coldest waters is in danger. Number six is the Sierra Nevada Yellow-Legged Frog. While they may be a little freaky looking, this is one of the most common amphibians found in the lakes of the Sierra Nevada region in California. However, the animal has recently had to face many predators their ancestors did not, including non-native fish. Invasive trout feed on the frog's eggs, tadpoles, and juveniles, resulting in a 95% decline in the frog's population. Another fish, Seven, is a desert pupfish. A resident of Death Valley, Capitol Reef, and other southwestern parks, this fish is the most extreme survivor of any animal on Earth. The small shiny animal can withstand either very cold or hot water, extremely salty water, and even acidic water. Despite their ability to ex survive extreme conditions, the animal has been on the endangered species list since 1986. 8. AKA the cutest on this list, the American pika. A relative of the rabbit, this tiny animal lives in the high altitude rock fields of various parks, including Grand Teton in Wyoming and Rocky Mountain in Colorado. The species is sensitive to heat and can die when the temperature rises above 75 degrees Fahrenheit. When climate temperature is rising, whole communities have disappeared. Lastly, the Pacific Fisher. These cat-like animals are 8 to 10 pounds, and they used to roam the Northwest in California. Now, following decades of trapping and lodging, the animals are gone from Washington State and are considered rare in the rest of this range. Olympic, Yosemite, Mount Rainier and North Cascades National Park have all participated in the reintroduction and monitoring programs to hopefully bring back this fish to the region. Those are some of the most endangered species living in the national parks. Through conservation efforts by both organizations and individuals, many of these species have another chance at survival. The national parks have led these animals down the road to recovery, and we hope to continue that progress. If you would like to learn more about national park wildlife, click the link in our description. Subscribe to our channel for more national park stories, advocacy, and tips.